Overnight, a major break in the case of the 85-year-old American veteran held as a war criminal in North Korea for more than a month. Merrill Newman is, as we speak, on a flight home. So how did this all happen? ABC's Gloria Riviera is on the story. After 42 days in detention in North Korea, Merrill Newman is on his way home. I appreciate the tolerance that DPRK government has given to me to, to be on my way. He flew from Pyongyang to Beijing, then on to California. The 85-year-old Korean War veteran traveled to North Korea as a tourist, sightseeing for 10 days, before officials from the communist regime of Kim Jong-un pulled him off his return flight. He was accused of committing hostile acts during the Korean War. Later, he appeared on television, apparently reading from a confession. They collected information and killed three innocent operators. Newman's ordeal comes as tensions run high in the region. The secretive regime may have subdued nuclear threats for now, but refuses to back down completely. The state-run news agency said Newman was released because he apologized for his crimes, his age and his medical condition. We want to thank everyone who has made this possible and given us the opportunity to have Merrill come home. In Seoul, South Korea, Vice President Joe Biden praised the release, but also called for the return of American Kenneth Bay, held for more than a year. Mr. Bay, who has no reason being held in the North, should be released immediately. For Mr. Newman's family, their fervent wish for a homecoming before the holidays comes true. For Good Morning America, Gloria Riviera, ABC News, Beijing. Fair to say this will be a Christmas that family will Absolutely. remember.